hello 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 dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla so leo this is your weekly check-in and it's actually quite interesting because i feel that um someone has moved on from a connection whether it is you or the other person the person that has not moved on and again guys these are general readings sometimes they pull towards love sometimes they pull towards career or whatever it is um but the energy that i'm picking up in general is somebody's moved on right whether from a relationship from a job from something right and the person that hasn't moved on, so if you're an employee and you lost an employee, um, you, you kind of get the scenario, right? If you broke up with somebody and the person moved on and you didn't, then the person who hasn't moved on is looking at the other person and being like, oh, you're just doing that for show, right? Um, there is here something of an energy of someone that was unwilling to commit, right? So the person that was unwilling to commit to something was the one that was left behind, right? It's a person that has not been able to move on. So if in regards to a relationship, maybe you wanted to move on to, to the next step with somebody and somebody else did. And so you went ahead and you took yourself out of that connection, found somebody that was, that wanted the same things that you wanted, was more in align with you. And now you're moving on to the next step and your ex is kind of looking at you like you're crazy. Like, you know, you still want me type of energy. Um, this could be an employer that maybe you asked for a raise, you asked for a promotion, they denied you, you either went on to another to another employer who started you at the level and at the, the the amount of money that you wanted or maybe you just went on your own and are actually doing way better than what you were doing with the old employer so is that is that kind of energy of where there is this kind of resentment coming from either the person or the situation that you left behind right where they're failing to see that you moving on, you moving forward with your life has nothing to do with you trying to, sorry guys, I feel like I have something on my lip, has nothing to do with you trying to get back at them. It just had to do with you following your intuition, following your heart with what is in alignment with you. So there's definitely this sense, Leo, where you don't owe anybody an explanation, right? You don't owe an explanation to the person from the past or to the job from the past or anything like that. You have to continue on following your dreams, your intuition, your heart, because for too long, I'm picking up, you sacrificed a lot, either to stay at an old job, an old employer, or to stay within a connection that was not growing. So whatever it is that you came out of was something that was stagnant, something that was stuck, something where there was no progression, where there was no growth, right? So when when it clicked from you when you realize that within that situation whether in love or career or finances whatever it was there was no potential growth you did the smart thing you took yourself out of that situation and went ahead and continue on following your heart and following your intuition because you knew even though you couldn't see it right even though you couldn't see exactly how it was going to work out you knew that you were going to come into alignment with something or with someone that was going to give you a what you needed what you wanted plus allow it that there was a, that there is a space where growth can continue to happen and i hope that makes sense because that's the way that it's coming in so it's kind of like leaving something that was stagnant and dead something that was kind of already drained let's put it this way there was no more life in that of the past and you moved on to something that is full of life something that is fruitful right and the the situation here in the past is kind of looking at you like telling you that you made the wrong choice even though um what you have reaped in such a short period of time has proven to you that you did make the right choice so there there can be this this type of energy where there may be an ex that may be um reaching out and telling you now that they're ready right they're ready for the commitment they're ready to be with you at that level but i feel that that is more coming from like a shady place where they can't believe that you actually moved away from them they can't they can't believe that you actually went ahead and moved forward into another connection um if this is an employer you may have an employer reaching back out wanting to offer you now the position that you wanted wanting to match whatever it is that you're being paid but it's like your intuition is telling you like no like it took it took the employer, it took this person to lose you in order to see your value, in order to see your worth. And that's just technically the energy that you no longer want to be a part of, Leo. And that's what I'm picking up very happy with you guys. So let's go ahead. Let's pull out three cards and see what we have. 
All right, so the Five of Cups, and this one just came out for Tauruses as well. But anyways, so we have the Five of Cups, right? Um, this is like your past energy, right? This is the energy that you came out of, that energy of like feeling like you are by yourself, feeling like there's no progression, feeling like you're, you're kind of just stuck, right? Um, with the Queen of Wands, um, there's definitely this sense where, and then we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. It's like you, you decided that you are no longer going to be waiting on something. Something, right you were no longer going to be waiting on others or waiting for things to come through instead you decided to go ahead and listen to your intuition listen to what it was that was coming from within you to allow yourself to go ahead and push forward and push through because you were tired of being in this energy where you kind of felt left out where you kind of felt like nothing was moving you kind of felt stuck and you really didn't like that energy you knew what you had to do for a very long time and even though it took you a long time to go ahead and take that first step, you, you're you happy that you did it. And again, it's like you're not settling for anything less than. You're not settling for anything less than what it is that is in alignment with you. And that's actually quite a beautiful energy to be in. It's like you you feel like your your life is finally going like it's finally getting on track or it's finally on track with something and you you're trying your best to embrace this energy and not allow again the the comments or the saying of either a person or people from the past come and disturb that for you. Well, Leo, that is all that I have for you for this week, guys. Um, as always, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for all of those that have been donating to the channel as well as subscribing, liking, and sharing the context. Um, if you would like a personal reading, um, the information to my website is down below in the description as well as my Instagram and Facebook information. Um, on Facebook and Instagram, I do post daily messages so you can go ahead and take a look sending every single one of you love strength and blessing guys take care love you all bye bye